What's up guys, Gooms and welcome back to Pro Cycling Manager 2021 for stage 17 of our Tour de France playthrough. Today's stage that takes us from Muret to saint lary soulan col du portet 182 kilometers for the first proper mountain stages in the Pyrenees, at least the first summit finish. If you've missed the previous episodes, then do go ahead and check them out. But if you have, then let's go ahead and start this stage number 17. Well, plus two for Julien Philippe. you know what that means. We're gonna attack again. Uh, I feel like it's the best thing I can do, if I'm being honest. Um, and also, I really like playing this aspect of the game where I'm in the breakaway and I, I don't really have to care about the stage itself. I mean, I do. Obviously, I do care about the stage and I care about the, uh, sorry, about the GC. Uh, it's, it's different. It's refreshing because since I started doing those, tour de, those um, Grand Tour playthroughs since 2018 Tour de France, I believe, um, I've always been like... My mindset was always GC, GC, GC. Whether it is Tour de France, whether it is Giro, whatever, it was always the GC. Now, it's slightly different, and I like it. Mark will get the points for the sprint, uh, but sadly, sadly, unlike I would have wanted and unlike I had expected, the peloton uh, will not let us go whatsoever. Um, and yeah, the gap has never been more than two and a half minutes. Tony Martin, Hessing, Jonas Vingegaard, and Mark Tunison have controlled the peloton since the first kilometer. Um, I guess if we do end up winning today, it won't be in the breakaway. And we started the first climb of the day, the Col de Perros the first cat. Uh, it is a long climb, 13.5, an average of, I believe, 7%. It's actually 6.8 to be precise, I wasn't far off. And the peloton has starting their effort. Uh, it is Stefan Bessega pacing for, I'm gonna guess, Rigo Uran, that would make sense. Um, yeah, 117 is the gap with the breakaway. We're not gonna stay ahead for long. 40 seconds, the peloton has destroyed our lead, but they didn't even care about it. Like, they just went back at us like we were nothing. Wow, quite sad. Quite, quite sad. Good thing is, I drove a plus four on the so if you can manage to uh, stay in the first group, I'll be able to provide uh, Julien with some support. Not sure um, how viable it'll be though, but I'm, I mean, I, I, I've got nothing else to lose. Nevertheless, we'll still fight for the current point. Julien versus Warren. Points for Julien today. Gets in there. Plus 10. Second climb. Col de val 7.4 kilometers. Average of 8. Uh, we've got Matteo Cateno coming back. Sorry. Dries de Valence has really been struggling to give me water. Uh, the, the... Brava! It's Alejandro Valverde is the one blocking me. I can't believe it. I cannot believe it. I'm being betrayed by my leader with Movistar. But, yeah, no. I'm, I'm really trying my best at this point. But... The, the peloton just is completely nuts. They're, they're just mental. Warren Bargill has attacked and the peloton is letting him go. Actually, Carap Carapaz has attacked. Go to Woods, Carapaz, Molema, Bargill and Wopels. Okay. Uh, well, I mean, Yombo, mate, it's your turn to pace it. This is not mine. And we're going to start the final climb. Col du Portet, 8.7 kilometers. Um, and, sorry, 16 kilometers, an average of 8.7. That makes more sense. Uh, and mainly. A max of 13%. We're going to struggle. Julien has all of his energy. We do have one rider in the lead. That is the current P9 of the GC in Michael Woods. He would get an added two minutes, meaning that he would only overtake literally no one right now because Pebilbao would still hold on to his position. Um, but yeah, Julien is in a decent place. We'll see if at one point like, they come back at, uh, at Michael Woods. Be, uh, I'll try and maybe surprise them by attacking. I don't know if it'll work, but we'll see. Attacks. Lots of attacks in the peloton. Uh, including Tadej Pogacar, the white jersey, Rigo Uran, and Peyo Bilbao has actually attacked. Okay, I'm actually surprised not to see Roglic reacting. Uh, I guess they're letting Ineos do the work. Wait, Garen Thomas is pacing. Where is Richard Carapaz? Uh, where is Richard Carapaz, actually? Um, hmm. I don't know. Is he there? That's Kielkowski. Carapaz is dead. So you're telling me that Garen Thomas is pacing on... What are they doing? Also, sadly, Julien has been dropped. Uh, I did expect it. Let's be honest, I did expect it. Uh, 7.9k until the summit of the Col du Portet. And it appears that Tadej Pogacar is going for, uh, for a well on Tour de France. Turns out, Primoz Roglic has countered Tadej Pogacar, and it will be a Slovenian win at the Col du Portet. But it will be for Primoz Roglic by the looks of it. He's got 30 seconds on Pogacar, Uran. Then we've got Bauke Molema, then the group à la Philippe. Uh, I mean, I'll make a nice comeback in the GC. I don't care about it, but at least it's cool. Roglic versus Tadej. Roglic wins it at the Col du Portet. Tadej 
won't be uh won't be making the win uran mp3 is gonna make a massive jump to uh to the gcn actually he most likely is moving into that third position um then you've got actually yates yates with a huge end of the climb jesus christ yates molema godu woods and myself i'm gonna guess some mountain points i guess uh michael michael is just like pushed me completely to the side of the road and we end up going to be in the we're gonna end up being overtaken sorry by bala valverde for p9 disappointing yeah with the person not letting me go in the breakaway there was nothing i could really uh really hope for i tried but we end up in p9 which i think is respectable knowing that we do have 75 mountain um yeah slightly disappointed because we moved to 8 out of 17 now for our 50 percent win gc wise uh when i p16 it's fine we're still with like bargill so we'll be able to be in the breakaways in the coming stages mountain wise we have a 12 points lead over wine uh which is good pretty much probably won't be a threat because we only have one more mountain stage and two more climbs tourmalet and new Zardinen. but that will be for the next episode of the uh, tour de france playthrough with the kind of quick step i do hope you've enjoyed today's if you did then please do leave a like down below if you're new to the channel and want to see more of my content in the coming days then make sure to hit that subscribe button and turn on your notifications to not miss a single upload. But I will see you in the very near future. My name is Guillaume. Have an amazing day. See ya. Pass me the funk, get your funk on, girl, and don't you ever let Pass me it the go. funk. We're getting drunk in here, and what comes next will 